what is up everybody this is beetle5 and welcome to another one of my reaction videos i have with me the ginger here hello everyone and today we will be reacting to the death battle between tracer versus the scout now i've been thinking about this death battle all like the past two weeks and my money's on tracer that i, so am I. I think they should go in this fight but somehow in the back of my head i don't doubt that scout could turn us around so yeah at the moment i'm kind of mixed so I'm gonna have to see after the analysis of who we, yeah, I who I so. really think will win this fight. I mean, I, I love he, both games. I because play... all I really know is, is Scout can use his speed and his yeah, as I said, Scout is shot. really fast, but Tracer is really fast too. So yeah, Scout could double jump. Yeah. So I don't know, but anyways, it, it's it's gonna be a pretty good fight. So you have the video loaded? Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. So that we shall begin this video in three, two, one, go. <laughs> To be the elite, you must surround yourself with the best of the best. Whether you band together to save the world, or just a worthless plot of land. Yeah. And every good team <laughs> needs a good hit and runner. Like Tracer, the spunky agent of Overwatch. And the scout, the Boston-born merc of Team Fortress. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Yeah. 30 years from the present, I love the story mankind would become oh, careless. Yeah. So Their good. machine servants rose up to fight for freedom, and so began a worldwide war. But one organization stood between world peace and total chaos. Overwatch, a team consisting of the world's greatest scientists, cyborgs, ninjas, cowboys, and pilots. Including Lena Oxton, codenamed Tracer. The youngest pilot ever inducted into Overwatch's flight program, Tracer is a free-spirited and fearless flying ace, always laughing she in the face loved of the danger. Yeah. Yeah. After helping to secure world peace, no big deal, right? She was chosen to test a new prototype fighter jet, which could teleport. But then everything went horribly wrong. Instead of teleporting from point A to B, the fighter jet accidentally transported her through time. How do you accidentally create a time machine and <laughs> put it in a fighter jet? A word to the wise, this is why you use animals before moving to human trials, right. like I always do. Anyway, Tracer essentially existed as a ghost, uncontrollably phasing in and out of time. It looked like Overwatch's prized pilot would be decommissioned forever. Until her teammate, good friend, and guerrilla scientist Winston made a special techno doohickey to keep her locked in the present. This chronal accelerator doesn't just anchor Tracer's time displacement, it also gives her two different ways to manipulate her own time flow. In a near Tracer instant, was she in can World zoom approximately 23 feet away. Uh, this I suppose that's probably ability is not true teleportation, but instead speeds yeah. up time only okay. for Tracer while propelling her in any given direction. What? She can briefly jump herself forward yes, in yes, time, that's, though wow. from an outside view it looks like a blur. That's kinda cool. Got it. More than that, she can also reverse time for herself with the recall ability, which returns Tracer's health and spatial position back to where they were a few seconds before. While usually recall only turns back 3 seconds, in some instances she's gone as far back as 15. Well, thank god her weapons aren't as confusing as that shit. She carries <laughs> dual rapid fire pulse pistols as her primary pain dispensers. Each can empty 20 rounds in a single second. But what the pulse pistols have in power, they sorely lack in range and accuracy. Good thing she also has her pulse bombs! I'll put it this way, pretty much anybody she sticks this thing to has exactly two seconds to make their peace before going to the big capture point in the sky. Tracer <laughs> maximizes her unique weaponry with hit and run tactics, frustrating her enemies and making her very difficult to pin down. Yeah, in addition to blinking and recalling all over the place, she can jump 15 feet in the air! She's disarmed the highly trained and literally cold-blooded assassin Widowmaker, protected the Doomfist gauntlet from theft, and even once avoided a sniper shot from just 30 feet away. A sniper round usually travels almost 1800 miles per hour when fired, meaning Tracer had to react within one hundredth of a second. Unfortunately, that bullet found another target. Yeah. That scene was so bad. Huh. Yeah. Rest in peace, Robot Gandhi. Although Tracer Robot is Gandhi. a <laughs> opponent on the battlefield, her chronal accelerator <laughs> has its limits. If used too many times in succession, it can overheat, forcing Tracer to wait for a recharge. As her pistols are linked to the accelerator, this can sometimes cause them to overload as well. 
Plus, she's a pilot first and not exactly a crack shot while on foot. If she doesn't get in close, she's not hitting anything but air. In spite of that, Tracer doesn't let any of it get her down. Wherever there's danger, she'll be there in a blink of an eye with a cocky smile and a barrage of bullets. Okay. Wait, whatever happened to that time warping fighter jet? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Don't worry, loves. Cavalry's here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the year All 1850, the Fortress story is an really extremely cool story wealthy too. entrepreneur passed away, leaving his family land and business That's to the his original two sons. But like brothers are prone to do, they ended up fighting over each other's land right off the bat. This went on for decades, and then the brothers began recruiting mercenaries to literally wage war. <laughs> and that's when things really got out of control. Each hired gun contributed with their own specialized expertise. The sniper killed from afar, the engineer slaughtered with machines, and the heavy mowed people down with the biggest I, goddamn I gun they'd ever seen. What kind of sandwiches were they feeding that guy? Solid but one every man only relied on his cunning, his two feet, and a baseball bat. This was the Scout. Born in Boston, Massachusetts in the 1950s, the mercenary only known as Scout was the runt among seven older brothers. And all of them loved to wander the town looking for a good fight. Problem was, Scout's brothers were so big and tough, the fights would be over before he could get the chance to throw his own punches. Desperate to fight alongside his siblings, Scout realized that what he lacked in strength, he could make up for in speed. So he started running, and running, and running until one day he was fast enough to not only keep up, but get ahead. Speed was his moniker, delivering pain was his game, and somewhere along the way he even learned how to jump off of thin air. <laughs> Suddenly, the pathetic runt of the pack became the smart mouth terror of Boston. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. The only thing he was lacking was discipline. Which he could get in the military, but that didn't sound like any fun, so he became a mercenary instead. Scout travels light, relying on a lovely shotgun and a baseball bat. Yes, a baseball bat. This guy is crazy enough to try and take out a rocket launcher wielding soldier with a pop fly. Which butcher. surprisingly works. Opponents are stunned by the size of his balls, both literally and figuratively, leaving them <laughs> open for Scout to race up and finish them off with his guns. While he's got a pistol for pinpoint accuracy, Scout's favorite tools for killing are definitely shotguns. The scatter gun is a confusing miracle of shotgun engineering that can somehow hold six shots in a double barrel, and is reloaded via divine intervention when you pull its lever. It's like the baby of a shotgun rifle and a revolver, but his most powerful gun is the force of nature. A shotgun that only has two shots, but kicks so hard it can boost him even higher into the air. I love to Regardless, a well-placed shot can quickly take down almost any other mercenary. To make the force of nature even more ridiculous, he can strap a can of energy drink called Bonk Atomic Punch to it, which somehow gives him five more mid-air jumps. That's right, <laughs> this guy flies with shotguns. But that's not all the soda has to offer. With just a sip of Bonk, Scout becomes totally invincible for eight seconds. But he can't use any of his guns at that time. Probably due to the shakes. Bonk contains several hundred times the daily recommended sugar intake. Oh my goodness. Oh, An adult Christ. male's suggested daily dosage oh is 25 God. grams, meaning Bonk contains, at <coughs> minimum, 11 pounds of sugar. Holy so oh. much sugar, he can't take another drink for at least 20 seconds. Uh, uh, and on top of that, it's radioactive. It's you radioactive. gotta have one tough body to handle that stuff. Tough enough to survive the onslaught of three rockets at once, or to swing a baseball bat hard enough to send a guy flying 80 feet away. Possibly due to long-term bonk exposure, but testing is still out. Scout can defeat foes as strong as the heavy in close quarters combat, run 17 miles an hour for long periods of time, and even kill a bear with nothing but a hot dog suit and Amelia Earhart skeleton. <laughs> I'm... serious. He has a knack for avoiding bullets, the missiles, and even tentacles from a red monster, but at the cost of wearing little to no armor, making him a glass cannon. And true to his reckless, unrestrained personality, Scout often runs headfirst into battle regardless of the risk. But if you want to take down the Scout, you're going to have to catch him before he catches you. And that means you too, ladies. <laughs> That's right, Fancy Pants, myself. So why don't you take your little failure, roll it up sideways, and... Okay, crap, I gotta go. <laughs> Screw you, though.
All right. All this is right, going to be really hard, but yeah, I, I, I think I have to go with Scout. Once and for all. Uh, I, 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 I feel like Scout. If only there was some strong. sort of amazing service. Yeah, but I feel like he has too much food recipes in his head. That he, that's oh, he's hey. going to win. What? I feel you like know he's going to be like uh, Researching reckless, characters and making them fight to the death is time consuming. I don't have time to go to the store and make my own meals, but I also don't want to doom my existence to fast food sugar addiction. Thankfully, Blue Apron changed all of that. For less than $10 a meal, Blue Apron sends me seasonal recipes with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Each meal comes with an easy step-by-step -step recipe which can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. This chicken so stir-fry only really took about 20. Though, think Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free yeah. with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash battle. From a, from a See for yourself how good it feels and tastes to create impeccable home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. That's blueapron.com slash battle. But I'm right so now, hungry now! It's time for a death battle! Fuck it, I'm sticking with Scout. I'm sticking with Scout. I think Scout will work. No, I'm crazy. I think Scout will work. Okay. I do love both franchises. I do love both franchises. Yeah. Uh, your toast. She has the objective. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, hey there, hot stuff. Hello. Oh boy. <laughs> I love the cartoons where he does this. It's so funny. If I told you you had a great bod, would you uh, hold it against me? Um, that's nice. I was just leaving. <laughs> oh, sure thing. Come back anytime. Just uh, put that briefcase back before you go. Thanks. Watch out if you want to. Sorry, love. Overwatch needs this more than you. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, now you just playing. Yo, what? How you doing that? Uh -oh. oh no, that's just great. Huh? You already drank bomb? Supposedly, this stuff will liquefy your esophagus after just one can, but, you know, it's also very handy when you feel like not getting blown up. That's <laughs> not very fair. Listen, sweetheart. I never play fair. Oh god. Oh! I'm charging up again! Oh! 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 Alright, Dal. Fun's over. Oh, yeah, mate. Alright, let's go. Oh. Scout was fast and tough, but Tracer's unique arsenal and evasiveness pulled her ahead. Scout's greatest feat was potentially surviving an assault from three rockets That's at what once. Made me think he could However, the rocket's point of impact is never directly shown, and since direct hits from rockets regularly obliterate far tougher mercs, it's unreasonable to assume this was any different. 
Scout could sprint up to 17 miles an hour for an extended period of time, which is slightly faster than the average human's 15 miles per hour. But Tracer's natural reactive instinct gave her the edge. For example, avoiding that sniper round from 30 feet away means she can react 25 times faster than the vast majority of other human beings. Which means Tracer could avoid almost anything Scout threw at her. Even when she couldn't, her recall ability not only helped her survive, but effectively ruined any of Scout's elements of surprise. This allowed Tracer plenty of opportunities to take him out. And just like that, Scout was gone without a trace. The uh -huh. winner is Tracer. Alright, good fight, good fight. Kudos for Overwatch. Next time on All right. Death Battle. What sprite battle do we got this time? Oh, Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter. Ken! And oh, wow. Nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching okay. another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben, I'm the showrunner, and I play Wiz. Other, I'm, I'm Nick, and I wrote this episode. Gonna, gonna pin and next time we've got now. Ken from maybe. Street Fighter, but yeah. who's he gonna I be fighting? Did you can find out um, by sticking to our social media. That's at ScrewAttack no. on Twitter, and no, official SA on Facebook. You you letting you know his opponent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, and if you want to see that episode of Death Battle early, or want to see some other Rooster Teeth content before other people get to, you can become a first member by clicking the link in the description below. And of course, if you've got an idea for a Death Battle, let us know in the comments below. The we do read I'm them. Just thinking, who can Thanks, guys. I don't know. Probably just some other low life fighter. That's my guess. But wow, yeah. that was really, really good. That was an yeah. excellent death battle. I enjoyed that a lot. I should have stuck with my gun. I felt, I felt like Tracer was still gonna win. But I don't know. A scout seemed like he could do a little bit better. I don't know. Yeah. But that was really awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for what else to react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.